Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. Um, as the title suggests, I'm going to talk about my new strategy for study. However, before I get started, I wanted to talk about an update that um, the school actually gave out recently. I posted it on my Twitter, but I know some of you might not um, have Twitter or maybe just don't check it. But basically, um, starting my second year, first semester, I will be still online, not in person. However, the option is available. What they're doing is they're giving us the option to decide whether it's all online or a hybrid. And the hybrid mode, they weren't as um, specific, so I don't know the details, but what I understand, it's going to be a mix of online courses and then some um, in-person courses. What I'm assuming is that some of the courses that will be in, in person will be kind of like the clinical skills one, so where um, you meet up with a professor and maybe up to like nine students or something like that, and you practice your clinical skills. I don't think that you're going to be going in for lecture in person, but I don't know. Anyways, now we can get started with today's video. Okay, so the first thing I do every morning is look up a video that is on either YouTube or on Boards and Beyond that has to do with the lecture that we're covering that day. This way I can preview the material as I like prepare for my morning. And then I head to class and in class I pay attention and I write my notes kind of with the idea of me not going back later and streaming it. It keeps me alert and engaged with the class. After class, I like to do my old Anki cards, which is anything that I've already had suspended. And I usually like to have my first aid with me, any Boards and Beyond PDF or Amboss table that will help me understand whatever's on the Anki card. And this usually takes me about two to three hours. I'm usually 200 cards. Then I like to go and rewatch the video that I watched this that morning if I think that I need it or um, I go and I watch the Boards and Beyond video that's related to the topic of class and a Pathoma video if it's related to class basically. And this is part of my second pass. After watching the videos, I go to Anki and I unsuspend cards that are related to the videos that I just saw. So because I'm usually going to Boards and Beyond, I like to go directly to the step one portion of the Anki flashcards that I've already downloaded before and then I go by Boards and Beyond video and then I just look up the flashcards that I need. And then I just click on the name of the video that I just saw on Boards and Beyond. And what I normally do is I highlight all of them and I unsuspend them. So right now they're yellow because they are suspended. They are not something that I'm studying, but I just control A or highlight all of them and unsuspend them. And so now I have 87 new cards to study. And I go through each, each flash card that I just unsuspended and I make sure that whatever uh, is in the flash card, I understand. So that's why I have my first date open and the PDF of the Boards and Beyond or even Emboss. Rx, anything available that's going to help me understand. But what's great is that they already have explanations there or pictures of first aid, for example. And after I'm done doing that, which usually takes about two to three hours, depending on how many cards I have, I like to end with practice questions. So lately I've been doing the ones related to the video. If I watch the um, entire thing and I 
I studied all of the flashcards, I go through that. I can also go to RX or to Amboss, they have practice questions. Once I'm done with the questions, I like to go to the lecture slides so that I can finish my second pass because it's important to know what is on the slide for the exam. So I read through it and usually everything makes sense by the end. So I'm, I'm just basically highlighting, underlining, um, explaining, making little notes to myself. I can either add RX notes or emboss notes or first aid notes for me to understand what's written on the slide when I go through it one more time later when I'm preparing for the exam. All right, so I hope that all made sense. If not, please let me know any of your questions. I love answering to comments, so just let me know. But um, before I finish this video, I kind of wanted to let y'all know that everything you just saw is more of like an ideal um, studying situation. And um, well, in medical school or just like in general, life is not ideal, right? So what you just saw is what I do on really good days and I've actually started doing this um, for my fourth block, neural block. Um, so with the main purpose of trying to incorporate some step studying, the Anki cards that I, I did, like y'all saw, it was from Boards and Beyond and they cover material that will be in step. And um, that's why I decided to go towards it. However, I know I haven't really spoken to y'all about my experiences with each block, and that's something I really want to do. But for Neuro, it, Neuro was very difficult um, for me. There were moments during Neuro that I did not follow this ideal schedule. Unfortunately, like I would fall behind, and so, I just want to make that clear like yes this is the ideal situation that I try to strive for every time that I'm caught up with lecture and I'm caught up with uh, the material with my um, with my my past system so I still follow my past system like I mentioned in my other video the the one explaining like that I got an A like if, if you haven't seen it and you want to know more about it just feel free to feel free to visit that video with what with my explanation today you can kind of see how I'm doing my first and second pass but I do do my third pass and my fourth pass for the preparation of the exam because the slides are basically like keys for any exam like if you you just need to know what's on those slides and understand what those slides are talking about so when I am behind I don't really follow this ideal schedule unfortunately so what I end up doing for example right now I'm in the beginning of my block five and I'm learning the uh, muscles and the skeletal skeletal system basically and I am behind because I'm always behind in the beginning because I'm trying to understand what to do, what's the best way to study, where to grab um, my information. Even though um, Boards and Beyond is a great resource, it's only for steps, so there are material that is missing for my courses. So then I go to um, US Emily RX Bricks. So yes, I'm using that right now. I'm also using Amboss if you're a UEG student right now you have um, free Amboss access until June 1st. Um, I, I can leave the, the link in the description box below, but I've been using that and it's amazing, honestly. I hope UG keeps it. And I'm also using um, a book, a book, well, hmm, it's the books flashcards. It's uh, Netter's Anatomy flashcards, but it's essentially a book with images and descriptions. So. Anyway, so I'm, I'm basically figuring out what to do, and in a sense, I am behind with the material, so I can't be adding more cards because I'm just gonna be stressed out. So what I'm doing right now in these days that I'm trying to catch up is I'm not, suspend, I'm not unsuspending or getting new cards into my Anki deck, but rather I'm just keeping up with my Anki daily, um, but not, dedicating um, three hours or something to, to finish my, my Anki. I'm kind of being a little bit more lenient. And so if I'm tired or if I want to change, like I, yeah, I could dedicate like 30 minutes here or if I need a break or 
um, I'm, I see that I have like free time, <laughs> I go on my phone because I actually grab, I, I recently uh, purchased the Anki app on my phone, so I do those and honestly I could do like a hundred cards throughout the day kind of like passively and then once it gets to like the second half, which is usually I get like 200 cards um, to review right now, then I can dedicate and I'm like, okay, let, let me get through them, let me see if I understand, you know? Um, I wanted to just make that clear that even though the, the video was showing you a new and like ideal and like perfect, um, life isn't perfect and, and feel, um, please don't feel like you have to um, compare yourself, like don't compare yourself to this, this like expectation um, of what I think is ideal, you know, try it out for yourself, like um, I'm sharing it so that you can, you can see what works for me and maybe it works for you. Um, hopefully because I think it's honestly it's honestly great so I'm gonna keep that on from here on out and I recommend you to start it as soon as you can um, within medical school try to add new cards that go with with the videos um, with the lectures that you're you're going through so even in block one if you're learning about like genetics and like uh, the glycolysis and stuff like that. There are Boards and Beyond videos, there are um, flashcards already made in this pre-made deck that you can unsuspend and just study and keep it. Keep studying it slowly until you have like free time or like dedicated, more dedicated time to go through all of the videos and um, actually go in and studying for your step. So that's what I'm doing. Try to, to not waste time on the little things because for example i used to make the flashcards myself it like it would take me the whole day and this is why it's me trying to change my studying but i think this is the way that i'm gonna keep on from here on out so i highly recommend it my past system and this like anki boards and beyond and and like school material uh i'm just gonna keep that however um once i once it's like closer to exam time, I'm going to stop giving new cards into my Anki deck. Um, maybe like lag it and who knows, like maybe not finish Anki or touch Anki for, for those days that I'm studying for the exam. For my previous exam, um, I kept on doing Anki and I think, um, you know, it's kind of like a, like, it wasn't like worth my time especially because I had to study for the exam so I think that's why studying for this second neuro exam was a lot harder for me because I just kept trying to do it all and you just can't like you need time to relax as well you know so um, I'm definitely gonna cut Anki from my like to-do list and my schedule once I'm doing my fourth pass my third and fourth pass maybe third like lower it and then once for sure I'm on my fourth pass like just not touch Anki um, and only just review the slides like one one more time and then I should be fine for the exam right <laughs> in theory <laughs> um, so yeah I hope that this all made sense and that you don't mind um, all this extra information I just feel like it's it's very important for you to to know that um, there are different ways to studying for medical school always try to be like more efficient and more importantly try to like not stress out i know that it's very difficult like i get stressed out all the time but i i try to control it so please try to control it as well and take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video thank you for <laughs> thank you for coming <laughs> bye